मन पास Located in India's southern state of Karnataka is Banagata National Park. Once a part of the Mysore Elephant Range, this national park is now isolated, but remains home to 120 endangered Asian elephants. Elephants regularly escape from Banagata in search of crops and territory. With subsistence farms all around the park's perimeter and India's third largest city, Bangalore, only 30 kilometers away, these elephants are put in direct conflict with humans. Every year, members of the forest department drive these mighty giants back to the national park. But with increasing urbanization around the park and the city creeping ever closer, this mission is becoming more and more challenging. studying elephants in Banagata National Park since 2003. The crop rating trend is such that the elephants largely use the forest as a daytime refuge, only to raid crops in the night. Males, when they reach the age of between 9 and 13, when they are sexually mature, they tend to disperse out of the natal group, the family group. and. Uh, they then try to establish an independent home range of their own to avoid inbreeding. Banargata is a linear forest patch, which is very fragmented, has a very convoluted boundary. Virtually any male here, when it's in the process of dispersal, would invariably end up at the perimeter. There's no choice but to end up at the perimeter because it's so narrow and so linear. So once they come to the perimeter, then they see an opportunity to raid. So initially it starts off as opportunistic raiding, as we call it. Later on, if this behavior is not curtailed, in a sense, you know, there's no better means of stopping elephants from coming out. This then translates into becoming what we call habitual crop raiding. Ragi or finger millet is the primary crop grown in the region and a popular food for crop raiding elephants. With only one harvest a year, crop damage by elephants can devastate the lives of local families who rely on ragi for food and subsistence. Since 2009, there have been over 8,000 reported cases of crop damage, although the true figure is almost certainly much higher. Solar rock taga, that battery did not get there. Now, if we get that, we will get the answer. Ah, 
ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಫೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಅದು ಸಣ್ಣ ರಾಡ್ ನಾವು ಹಾಕಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ರಾಡು ಅದು ಒಡ್ತಕ್ಕೆ ತಡೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅದು ದಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಡಿಲೇಬೇಕಾಯ್ತದೆ ದಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಡೆದು ಆಚೆ ಕಡೆ ಬಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಅದು ನಾವು ಅದು ಬಂದು ನೋಡೋಷ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಲ್ದೇ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸರ್ ಆನೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನಮಗೆ ಇವಾಗ ಜಾಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೋದರೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ನಾವು ಧೂಳ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೋಗಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗಿತ್ತು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಸೊಪ್ಪಾದರೂ ಮುರ್ಕೊ ತಿನ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿರ್ತವೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಲದ್ದಿಗಳು ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿರ್ತವೆ ಮತ್ತು ಜಾಡ್ಗಳ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಹೋಗಿ ಆನೆ ಇಂಥ ಕಡಾವೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಗುರುತಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಗುರುತಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅದ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ಕೈ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಚಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ ಟು ಡ್ರೈವ್ ದಿ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಹೌದು ಸರ್ ಹೌದು ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಳ್ಳಿಯವ್ರು ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಊರವ್ರು ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಓ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೈತದೆ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದು ಪಟಾಕಿ ಹೊಡಿತೀವಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಏನಾನ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಏನಾನ ಗನ್ನು ಒಂದ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಏರ್ ಪೈರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅವಾಗ ಓಡ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಅವಾಗ ಓಡ್ಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ತಿರ್ಗಾ ಹಡ್ಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ತಿರ್ಗಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಹೊಡಿತೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಆನೆನ observe elephants coming out of the forest in their joining crop fields and once they driven back or they finish raiding they would immediately get back so the average distance that an elephant would disperse from this park would be at around 3 kilometers from the park perimeter but off late we're looking at the distance being larger than earlier observed Well, it starts off as a process where a few individuals explore adjoining crop fields uh, to offset their daily food requirements. And eventually, over a period of time, they also recruit more individuals in this crop raiding party, if I may use that word. The formation of crop raiding groups has allowed the elephants to grow much bolder, leading to them venturing further into human use areas in search of an easy meal. Now when it comes to the conflict aspect, uh, numbers of bulls congregating increases with their propensities to crop rape. So bulls could employ a certain strategy where they can associate with key individuals within their group and become much bolder to the counter threats that are posed. Hey, don't come back! Hey, go back! The younger animals very quickly learn that firecrackers make noise, drums make noise, people shout, make noise. Nothing happens to them physically, there's no harm. So they consequently started staying longer and longer in the agricultural areas. They started dispersing further into the agricultural areas, not coming back, taking shelter in some small forest grove, and then again continuing their uh, intrusion into human use areas. Elephants are long-lived animals, and they know the area well. Bulls that engage in crop raiding behavior in search of food will revisit areas that were once farmed, but are now given over to human development. 
Due to an absence of crops, they disperse further from Banagata, putting them in greater danger. About 40% of the northern range of Banagata is within the municipal limits of Bangalore, making it an increasingly challenging landscape to manage elephant movement. Because the moment an elephant steps out the national park, it's very well within Bangalore city limits. ಇನ್ನು ಬನರ್ಘಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಲೇಔಟ್ಗೆ ಆನೆಯೊಂದು ನುಗ್ಗಿ ಆಟೋಟಪ್ಪ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಘಟನೆ ತಡವಾಗಿ ಬಳಕೆ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಬಿಲ್ವಾರದ ಹಳ್ಳಿ ಬಳಿ ಕಾಣಿಸಿಕೊಂಡಂತಹ ಕಾಡಾನೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ತಮಿಳುನಾಡು ಗಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆನೆಗಳ ಹಾವಳಿ ಮುಂದುವರೆದಿದೆ What is increasingly scary and alarming is that uh, some of these elephants cross these major highways during peak hours which could cause a lot of damage and destruction to the commuters as well as uh, ending the elephant's life. So this is a case where elephants have been trying to adapt themselves into managing road traffic which is quite interesting uh, from a behavioral perspective but quite scary from a management perspective for the forest department managing elephants that have ventured into built up areas is a serious challenge with roads houses traffic and people elephant movement becomes harder to predict instead of following the more defined scent trails left by previous elephants they resort to streaking behavior moving in unexpected and unpredictable ways. So elephants would probably use areas that pose less threat and they would immediately occupy that but unfortunately the forest department might not have the access to those areas which means that it warrants a lot of coordination with other stakeholders. Members of the forest department have no enforcement authority. So when elephants leave forest areas they depend on the police and other agencies to manage crowds and to assist with driving operations nam kade ane barod kammi re na na to nodirilla mo navaral ella bandu jana ಮೊನ್ನೆ ಏನು ರಾಶಿಕ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆನೆ ಬಂದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಲೇಬರ್ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ನನಗೆ ನೋಡೋಕೆ ಒಂಥರ ಖುಷಿ ನೋಡೋಕೆ ಬಸ ಒಂಥರ ಇದು ಖುಷಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಕುತೂಹಲ ಏನು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಬಂದು ಆನೆ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸರ್ ಅದು ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಹೋಗಿ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದಾಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಓ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆನೆ ಬಂದದ್ದು ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಫೋಟೋ ತ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾ ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಹೊಡಿಯಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ಅವಾಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಕಾಪ ಬರೋದು ಅವಾಗ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅವಾಗ ಘಟನೆಗಳು ನಡೆದ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ಅವಾಗ ಅವರು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಜೊತೆಲ್ಲಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೊಬೈಲಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಆನೆ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ಕಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ಯಾಗ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ವಾಟ್ಸಪ್ಪಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಹಾಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಆನೆ ಇದೆ ಆನೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅದು ಬರ್ಬೇಕಾಗೋದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೋಂಥ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತು ರೈತರು ಜನ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಓಡಿಸ್ಕೊ ಬಂದಾಗ ಜನಗೂ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಯ್ತದೆ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಬೇಡ ಓಡಿಸೋದು ಬೇಡ ಇವಾಗ ನೈಟೇ ಓಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸರ್ ಆನೆ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ದು ನೈಟಲ್ಲೇ ಓಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಐದುವರೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆನೆಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಅವರೇ ಆಚೆ ಕಳಿಸಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಗಲಾಟೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಆಚೆ ಕಳಿಸಿ ಇದೆ ಆನೆಕಲ್ ಮಾರು ಹೋಗಿ ಇದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಅಗ್ರಾರ ಕೆರೆ ಮಾರು ಹೋಗಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕೆರೆಗೆ ಇದು ಮಾಡಿ ಅಟ್ಟಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಬಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿವಸ್ಕೋಟೆ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಜನಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ನೋಡಿದ್ರಿಂದ ಅದು ಆನೆಗಳು ಮತ್ತೆ ಭಯ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮತ್ತೆ ಕವಲಸ್ ಕಡೆ ಕವಲಸ್ ಹಳ್ಳಿ ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆನೆಕಲ್ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕೆರೆ ಆಸೆ ಬಂದು ಮತ್ತೆ 
ದೊಡ್ಡಕಾಯಿ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಯಾರು ಬಗ್ಗನ ದೊಡ್ಡಿ ಆ ಸೈಡನ್ನು ರಾತ್ರಿ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಆನೆಗಳನ್ನ ಹಾಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ generally our drive is planned in a very strategic way largely based on a sound understanding on how elephants move and their directionality and the time in which is favorable in many situations you've noticed that these drives are impeded because there could be a critical point where an elephant has to cross it could be as simple as a roadway or a highway and it has to be crossed at a particular time and if it is not done so the entire drive could be a complete failure because elephants would retract and they would digress their path which becomes an increasingly additional challenge for the forest department to regroup its efforts to bringing back the elephant to that point the time elephants spend outside the national park is critical it prolongs the risk posed to both the public and the elephants and it allows elephants to become habituated to new areas that they may return to in the future. Disruption of driving operations by members of the public can therefore endanger the lives of people and elephants. The long distance dispersal of elephants from Banagata is not a new problem. ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯ ಶಿರಾ ತಾಲೂಕಿನ ಆದೂರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಡಾನೆಗಳು ಕಾಣಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಜನರಲ್ಲಿ ಆತಂಕ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಸಿವೆ ಗಿಡ ಗಂಟೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಪೊದೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಆನೆಗಳ ಠಿಕಾಣಿ ಹಾಕಿದ್ದು ಎರಡು ದಿನದಿಂದಲೂ ಆನೆಗಳನ್ನ ಓಡಿಸಲು ಹರಸಾಹಸ ಪಡೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ Initially started off with three bulls around 1997 1999 that dispersed to Tumkur and adjoining areas of Savandurga and Sira which is about 100 km northwest of Banagara National Park and these bulls especially the elder bulls ended up recruiting younger bulls over a large period of time and this whole phenomenon lasted for close to 20 years where 11 male elephants ended up congregating in those areas causing immense crop depredation and a loss of property and lives as well we believe that it could have happened because of a wrong drive and elephants were exposed to new agrarian landscapes the drives were made successful in initial stages of conditioning where these elephants were slowly exploring new areas the elephants could have been curtailed within close proximity of this park but since they ranged too further it was completely unmanageable the elephants had ventured so far from the park they became the responsibility of forest departments with no experience in managing wild elephants there was no suitable habitat nearby to drive the escaped bulls too and eventually all these 11 elephants succumbed to conflict management where most of these elephants unfortunately were electrocuted the remaining were captured some of them were translocated as an immediate measure as of today those 11 elephants uh, in the period of 25 years don't exist anymore most of them just were lost and that is the normal pattern for crop breeding elephants in the sense that eventually they either die due to electrocution they get killed in retaliation or they die due to some accident after that entire escapade came to a halt we thought that this trend would stop and there would be a solution for conflict mitigation by itself suppose we remove all of the crop ready animal the system goes back to the basic level where you know new males will disperse new males will come in contact with agriculture they'll start with indulging in uh, opportunistic raiding that will gradually grow into habitual raiding they'll soon learn that people don't uh, cause problems so then they start intruding further and further and the same story continues they then become older males and they start mentoring so the cycle will just keep going on following the same trails and the same routes that this earlier group used to follow a new set of individuals are beginning to emerge from the park and since their movement is not checked when they are at the periphery they end up using and traversing the same paths that these earlier elephants used to take if history has to repeat itself i believe that it would have a direct implications on on the population viability Most crop raiding elephants are male. There are serious concerns about how the loss of males from the breeding population may affect Banagata's elephants in the future. 
First and foremost, in terms of management, there is no choice but to drive them back. You can't have them trampling over people and crops uh, outside the forest area. But uh, your problem solving should start at the periphery. Stop them from going out in the first place. The current barrier systems have been very effective in curtailing female groups, largely because of the fact that they consider the security of their calves. But the barrier systems are largely ineffective when it comes to bulls because they would probably breach any kind of resistance or counter threats in order to meet their crop raiding needs. The fences around Banagata are reinforced every year. However, some elephants will outsmart any barrier system. As long as they are able to escape from Banagata, driving operations will remain essential so those individuals can be returned to the park before they venture into human-occupied areas. Alongside the increasing development around the park, the intensification of agricultural systems could also enhance conflict in the area. Because of the government's initiatives of increased irrigation in certain areas, cropping systems have slowly transitioning from a seasonal crop to something that more of an annual scale. It puts Banargata in the map of looking at conflict across the year and not just regulated for certain seasons. The forest watchers who are tackling the challenge of human-elephant conflict lack vital resources such as vehicles, guns and firecrackers, which reduces their efficiency on the ground. The department is also severely understaffed, with few young people joining, instead favouring more lucrative jobs in the city. Understanding and cooperation from local people will be essential to assist forest watchers in protecting the lives of elephants and people alike. Now, my Doctor <laughs> ಅಬ್ಡಮನ್ಪಾರ್ಟಿ <laughs> ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿದ್ದೀವಿಂದ <laughs> looking at needs of elephants and people should go hand in hand inna kelsa maadle bekagutha sir adakke ig iste kelsa salalla anta astu namgunu andre inna kelsa maadle bekaitade ane gula ache burudange naavu inna kelsa maadle bekaitade sir the management of conflict in the bangalore banargata landscape is largely based on cooperation ivattin dina bengalurige banargata rashtriya udyanavana beku ನಮ್ಮ ವನ್ಯಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಹಳ್ಳಿಗರು ನಮ್ಮ ಅರಣ್ಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಯಾರಿಟಿ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿ ಸರ್ ಅದು ಪಾಪ ಅದು ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಪಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂತು ನಾನು ಡ್ಯೂಟಿಗೆ ಹೋದೆ ಅದು ಹೊಡೀತು
ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅದು ಆನೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಜೀವನ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸಾಧ್ಯನೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಒಂದ್ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಜೀವನ ಮಾಡೋದು ಕಷ್ಟನೇ ಇರ್ತದೆ ದೂರ ದೂರನೇ ಅದು ಸಂಘಟನೆ ದೂರ ದೂರನೇ ಇರ್